in this case, I was asked to do a story on meerkats. Meerkats are, as you know, wonderful little sociable creatures standing on their hind legs, uh, very, very active in social groups, up to 15, or sometimes 20 individuals, very intelligent. They have a language for different predators, uh, and they have this amazing uh, system where the alpha male and alpha female sort of hand out chores to the rest of the community. So. Eventually, and they go to the bolt holes and they hide, and then you have to see if you can photograph them in the bolt holes. And we managed to do that, which was, which was nice. But then eventually we got lucky. We managed to, day by day, week by week, habituate groups that the scientists already knew where they were and that they had partly habituated as well. So I got closer and closer and closer, and I got to take pictures that I, I didn't think I would. But it's, it's mighty hard to take pictures at all when animals are standing on your lens. <laughs> Actually, may I have some light on the stage, please? I need to show you something really sweet. Uh, <clears throat> you know what it's doing? It's looking for predators. It's looking for anything dangerous. I... We represent the number one apex, really nasty species on the planet. And this little guy is like, I wonder if anything is scary around here. <laughs> and I, I find that very charming. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was there getting really, really close to them. I got these babies and I got, uh, you know, could see the claws. I got so close I could really shoot macro on these animals, which was fantastic. By the way, the claws are really good to dig with and they dig fast for scorpions, eggs, lizards, uh, millipedes. This is uh, a millipede going down. And the millipede would sweat out uh, a poison like a, a secrete, and, and the mil obviously the meerkats know, so what they do is that they just take out the millipede and they <laughs> in the sand, <laughs> so that the sand will, you know, be, be sort of stuck in, in, uh, the, in the secrete, and then they will just brush it off and, and eat it. It's very intelligent, very smart, in a way. But anyway, uh, uh, what happened is that I was this close, so I can take some, some quite special photographs of them, but then they could smell me. They could smell me and they thought that this was not pleasant. I didn't smell like a meerkat. So you know what they do? They anal mark you. <laughs> and that's a little interesting process. They, they have anal glands like many animals have, and they will, you know, <laughs> all over you. <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> it was like me and Los Magnus, you know, this, this thing where you can't, what can you do? You have fought to get this close. What can you do? Oh, stop it, you know, no. <laughs> Just indulge. 